hi everyone welcome back to my channel this is a uh, first video of a series of videos about Motec and I'm calling the series is R factor to telemetry analysis for dummies so it's not an advanced look into Motec and R factor to telemetry but it's just an overview a simplified view on how I use Motec this is not rock solid science this is just my experience with R factor 2 uh, telemetry and I will do my best to do short videos um, and be very very clear about what I'm saying and also I will do a summary on the document on how I use Motec so it, you will have short documents maybe nine page so first uh, thing we can do on Motec and it's the basics is to do a lab comparison so you need first of all to have at least two labs recorded in order to do a comparison in Motec and the comparison or we'll be doing steering inputs comparison, throttle input. Of course, inputs comparison, brake inputs comparison, speed into the corners, speed in the middle of the corner and speed out of the corner and your engine RPM. This is the things you can compare lap to lap in order to understand why and where are you lacking speed. Okay? So now we'll open Motec. You can see I have already my my channels and group of channels loaded. So the first one is still in wheel position. My engine RPM, RPM, my core speed, throttle position, brake position brake temperature brake pressure wheel rotation speed the three last groups we see them when we we'll deal with braking but now we will focus only on the th three first groups so we need to load two laps at least so Automatically Motec will choose your fastest lap or your most recent lap it's the most recent lap and when you click on this box you will load here the two laps now you have the two laps on the track on the also these table where I have a summary and on the graphics and you can hit F3 or click on the Delta so you bring up the comparison diagram so here we, can, we see that the beginning of the lap on the start finish line we carry exactly the same speed okay And you can see we start losing time a little bit. This is two laps, the same car, same driver, same setup. And you can see by at the end there is one second and a half, one and a half a second of difference between the two laps. And we we will check why we lose time. So we can first of all check this part okay so you what you can do is double click on the last section of the part you want to analyze and drag you see here I'm dragging my mouse mouse until this section and click here so here we can see the 
we can focus only on the section we need to study. This is a pretty easy section. There is no many things going around. And there is only these parts. So we we, we have a breaking. No, we, we went off breaking and we started with a little bit of acceleration. So we can zoom in. When you scroll in, we can zoom on this main section and we, you can already see that when you see the, we will focus on the throttle position. So on the main lap, it's called M, here we have the icon of M, it's the main lap, the fastest lap and here we have the comparison lap. we have used more throttle out of the corner and the corner we are studying is the Tertre Rouge at Le Mans so when you go on out of the corner with more throttle and just after you have a straight line you can see that you, you start losing time you can see in the variance here we went from 0 0.073 seconds to one tenth of a second. Just we can see here the average. This is the average throttle position of the main lap compared to the average throttle position of the comparison lap. And we have also the average speed comparison and the top speed comparison and the low speed comparison. So, small difference on the throttle input, as you can see here, it's a difference of when you see the average is a difference of 4%, which is not. You cannot notice it. It's all about muscle memory. All it's about muscle memory. You need to practice in order to to carry more and more speed into the corner and out of the corner. And you can see here the impact. So just out of the corner, one corner I lost nearly one tenth of a second. And of course, I carried more speed. Three, you can see three kilometers per hour on the straight, on this on on this section alone. And you have to do this comparison corner per corner, or at least you can see where you lose time. You see why you you lost time and we can we can see here when we zoom out that on the main lap i have slowed down a little bit earlier so i managed to go faster and to put mud throttle out of the corner slow in fast out and the, the comparison lap I was already at this point at 100% throttle and just applying a little bit of braking. So initially I carried more speed as you can see here. Okay, but I slowed down much more because I started under steering. You see, this is an example of a lab comparison. We, we won't stay, we won't go a full lab comparison. This may take you hours, but this is just an example of how it's important to driving style 
when it comes to lap timing. Imagine do losing one tenth of a second on every corner around Le Mans. And Le Mans, you have 36 or 32 corners. So one tenth every corner, it means more than three seconds loss per lap. This is serious, guys. I think this this is helpful for you and of course you can compare braking position throttle position steering inputs also it's important and this is the basics see you on the next video